Hey kids, Invertical here. Welcome back to Auto Knots. Hope you're enjoying uh, the playthrough on this game here. I've made a little bit of progress since the last episode. We have finally unlocked the masonry thing we need to continue with the stone cottage. Um, I also unlocked the seedling storage thing and I've, I figured out how that works. Um, so we'll just quickly go over what we have here. The seedlings, you basically, you throw your tree seeds in there and fertilizer, and then you just simply come up to them, grab a tree, uh, one of these, and you plant it like a normal tree. If I got any tree holes dug over here. Um, let me just come over here where he's working. And you plant it like a normal tree. There we go, got it. Uh -huh. And that tree actually grows faster than a standard tree. So it's almost, uh, I, well, remarkably faster. I mean, it's fast enough that you can notice it. <clears throat> One of the other things you unlock is the crude dredger. If you dig with the crude dredger, you get um, this little pothole. <laughs> now the thing with that is you can uh, make channels, I guess you could call it. Like I, I could continue carrying this down and make like a waterway. Um, not sure how that will be useful yet, although it could be in the future. The other thing we unlocked is the mortar mixer thing here. Now the mortar mixer um, requires clay, sand, and fresh water. Um, I have over here clay, sand, and fresh water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a mortar. I'm going to move this guy over here. And I'm literally just going to set it up right there. Grab a storage. I'm going to put a box in right here. Cool. <clears throat> and then I'll do is I'll, I'll have to grab a couple of bots here and we'll get those working on the clay. Now something I do need to take care of here before I get too carried away. I gotta grab some of my um, charger bots. And I need to modify their areas. So I'm just gonna come over here. Start with bot number one. We're gonna hit stop and we're gonna say, come to me. Now, I'm going to go grab a head. The first thing I'm going to do is give him a new head. And then I'm going to go grab a drive and I'm going to give him a new pair of legs. Don't really care about his body, how fast his body works. Don't really care. Because he doesn't have to carry anything. He doesn't need hands, anything like that. But what the body does do is it will give me the ability to put extra upgrades on him if I need to. Now right now he does have the level 1 shoes and I'm fine with that. He should move pretty quickly with this now. But what I should be able to do is go to the areas where he is in. He's now got 7 extra kilobytes in memory space. This is Max Area. And that's right over top of... Oh, that's you that causes that stupid lag. That's right over top of the thing. Now, I think his other areas... This one here, if I remember correctly, was attached to the sign. 
the builder's sign. Yes. So this one is attached to the builder's sign. This one is over the um, area where everybody's working. So we'll expand that and we'll shove that down there. And then, let's see if I can find a discharge bot here that hasn't. There we go. Again, we'll just do this again with a forever loop. For some reason, it really hates working at the bottom of the screen. If you're trying to put it in, in that space between the two bottom things on the screen, it just, for some reason, hates it. Okay, we're going to max this area. And we're just going to move that area down here. And I can cover... Covers the food production area fairly well like that. I still got three kilobytes, which would be enough to do one more, but uh, we were having problems with it getting stuck. So there we go. That gives us a little bit more thing so he can run. Ooh, we unlocked bigger stuff. Okay, cool. So he can run. Um, I will probably do similar upgrades to all the other bots and we'll end up with a whole whack of heads and body parts and mismatched pieces. You know, he actually looks almost decent. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> so we'll take this guy. And... Hit record on him. Pick up a bucket. You come over here, you're gonna pick up sand. Sand to this. Whoops. Add sand to this. Then you're going to pick up water. Oh, I need fresh water. Are you kidding me? Okay, how do I dump out water? Okay, hold on a second. Uh, pause this. Close that. I gotta figure this out. I think I know how I can get rid of that water, but I don't know how I can do this with... Because I need fresh water, not seawater. There is apparently a difference. Fresh water around? No, that's seawater up there. This is fresh water. That's a bit of a hike for him. I might be able to uh, dig a hole over here put some fresh water in it. There we go. Now the bucket should be empty. Yes. Record. And go pick up some fresh water. And then what we'll do is, actually what I might do is, I'll change that zone. Because then I'll just get him to do a loop here. Um, store that item, 
come and get clay. I'm just gonna move this area here. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to pause for a second here. I gotta go get him a brain cell. So I need him to do the crude bucket. And I need to do all of this. I don't know if I can do that or not here. Okay, you. Record. Let's recover and add. Yeah, I might have to do him in two parts. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll stop. Give me that brain cell back. Okay. Um, record. We will. Use held item. Don't go to clay storage. Just go to the mortar mixer. Hands empty. Loop one, do this until question mark is full. Question mark being the mortar bucket forever. him the bucket. I'll let him start on that. And we'll grab another bot here. I should just make some... I should make just a bunch of the simple bots. I really should, but that's okay. I guess it doesn't matter, a bot's a bot is a bot, as long as they work. Okay, we'll just take that memory chip and we'll just go dump that in the ground. We'll wind this guy up. Okay. Number 28. Record your job is to come down here, pick up a clay. Add to the mortar mixer. Why can't you pick up the mortar? Oh, were you telling me that I need a bucket to pick up the mortar? Until hands full, that until hands empty. Do that until this is full forever. is move area select area select if you please thank you that pick this up bring that over here okay so I'm just going to have to manually do that Ah, that 
but you can just do that. <clears throat> I'll have to manually do that. I'll probably do is I'll just bring a load of uh, stone over here and make my parts because this picking stuff up with a bucket is a pain in the um, a pain in the body parts here. Um, so we're just going to grab you two guys and we're just going to throw them into refined materials. I'm going to grab my little helper here. Has the program to make the fertilizer in them. Uh, I will grab another bot and actually just transfer this program over to him. But basically he comes over here, he picks up the dung, puts the dung in the fertilizer storage, takes it out of the fertilizer storage as fertilizer and inserts it into the tree storage. Um, I will need another bot picking up tree sapling seeds tree seeds, putting them in here, and taking the saplings and planting them into the forested areas here. Um, not overly concerned about that yet. So that's a thing. So uh, I'm just going to take a moment here. I'm going to get myself a wheelbarrow full of stone and see what I can do about building this um, these fireplaces because I need a lot of stone. So don't go away kids, I'll be right back after I've got the fireplace and chimney built. Okay kids, we're back just before I carry on with what I'm doing here. What I want to do is jump into one little thing. I've turned the flashies, the weather off, but I'm going to turn off the day-night cycle because um, as much as I enjoy the day-night cycle, it is too dark to see what I'm doing, especially when I'm recording. Now, the dredger, I forgot to mention this, the dredger only works on soil, so you have to strip the surf turf off to start. Um, and what I did here is I just grabbed my... Uh, my little terraformer turf bots that I had way back when. They're assigned to a sign here. And I just told them to build basically a straight line. I just set the thing to one block wide, max distance, one block wide, max distance. And they'll keep digging this up. This poor little guy only hauls three in his deal and goes. <clears throat> I figured out how to get my, um, my little helper guy here to pick up the wheelbarrow. Um, unfortunately, I had to do was put the brain upgrade into them uh, as well as the new head. Um, so he's he's changing a little bit. And the program works. It's really not too difficult. Uh, just he picks up, he starts um, when the wheelbarrow is not full. He goes, he picks up stone. Of course, full hands, full empty hands until the wheelbarrow is full. Then he picks up the wheelbarrow. He comes all the way over here, drops the wheelbarrow off. So picks it up, move, uh, move to this place, disengage. That's to remove from the wheelbarrow. Then he empties the wheelbarrow. And then he picks the wheelbarrow up and takes it back to the starting position and does the same thing again. Um, if I want to transfer that program off him onto another person, or another bot, uh, I would have to do, seriously, um, I'd have to make sure that they seriously had some upgrades because that's a lot of work just to move a wheelbarrow full of stones over here. But uh, I have a feeling I might have to do a lot with the things. But we finally got our first chimney made and I've already got a fireplace made. I've actually got a couple of fireplaces made. Uh, these guys have been grinding away for a bit, like, well, quite a while, actually, if you can see how far I've managed to get these guys to dig. So we're going to see what happens when we throw this into the... Um, cottage here. The next step, stage number three of six requires stone. So now I should have my stone bot going and picking up some stone. Now I've ordered mixing pots again. Now I'm just going to order them all for upgrades. So 
as this guy's finished this last one. There we go, those are all upgraded. Now each one of these is going to require uh, a crude torch, so that's five crude torches I have to make. So I'll quickly run over and crank those out. Okay, they are putting this next layer on, which is straw. Uh, so we're just going to, I'm almost done with these torches here. My guys seem to have stopped working. I gotta figure out what's going on. I can't find my guy here. This is a problem I've had before in this game for no reason whatsoever. Um, things tend to stop and you have to go look for them. And it could just be a simple matter of wherever he's supposed to be is he's decharged. Um, so who knows. I just need to finish this. He's bouncing on the shed. Okay, next. Now I need a door and two window frames. And that is this research that has to be finished, I think. Um, or is that something I can do on my structural bench? Yes, I can. I can do that on here. So I'm going to crank those out real, real quick. I'll finish this torch and figure out where my guy disappeared to here. I found my poncho guy. He just seemed to have had a eclipse of the brain here. I don't know what's going on. He's now carrying two ponchos, but that's no big deal. He's back to work. Um, so we'll quickly just finish this off here. Now I'm just going to click the upgrades to cauldron for these. And that is metal ore, clay, crude torch, and stick. So I'm going to have to get somebody working on the metal ore here shortly too. And more crude torches. Okay, so this needs some square frames, a panel, and some fixing bags. window frame, which requires two panels, four, two poles, and four fits and bags. Okay. okay, we have finished everything. I'm just bringing the door frame over, and we have just finished our first stone cottage. Let's grab our unwilling volunteer. now needs leisure <laughs> yes <laughs> okay so now he needs <clears throat> the colonist needs is a uh, level four food level three housing which I have level two clothing and level one leisure items <clears throat> So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. So the level four food, but the level two clothing. So it's no longer just building the ponchos. Now I have to actually start building um, I have to start building the next level high of clothing because the ponchos are level three. So I have to start doing something more like the robe or the toga, the tunic. So I can get away with tunics. Oh, that's level three. 
That's level three, level four. So I have to do something like robes. Robes are basically a robe is two tuna, two tuna, two togas. <clears throat> um, what else we got here? That's level three. That's level three. I've only unlocked one level four. So I have to either start making level five stuff or, oh, the jumper's level four. Okay, so I can start doing this. Ponchos with wool blankets with string with jumpers. Okay, so that's that. Food, of course, now is the level four is the fish stew, the, the stews, the jams, that kind of thing, which is what I need these cauldrons for. And I gotta go get metal ore for those cauldrons to get working. But that's what it takes to get your next level of colonist. My goodness, his head is bigger than my entire body. Wow. <laughs> that could be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what's going to happen when he breaks his house, like what the level of damage is that I have to deal with, but that's okay. We'll get to that as well. Uh, so thanks all for watching kids um, I'm going to see between episodes I'm going to clean these up and I'm going to get this uh, waterway drilled over here and clean up this um, mortar facility I actually want to get it so that I just have one guy hauling um, stone over here but the clay and the sand should be just dug and stored right here um, as well as the water like that should all happen right here so <clears throat> thanks for watching I'll see you in the next episode and good night for now <laughs>